week five of the fantasy football season. Here's a few quarterbacks. I have a sleeper options this week. The first quarterback, Bo Nix of the Denver Broncos. I know so far this season, the numbers haven't been great for Bo Nix, but he's a quarterback that's still learning on the job, obviously, as a rookie. And this Denver Bronco team, the last two weeks, went into Tampa Bay, blew them out 26-7 in an upset victory. And last week, in a rain storm at MetLife Stadium, beat the New York Jets. So the last two games in those victories, week three, at Tampa, 216 pass yards, 47 rushing yards, and a touchdown on the ground. And last week, only 60 passing yards, a touchdown, and three rushing yards. So I know the numbers haven't been great for Bo Nix, but this week in deeper leagues with bye weeks and even two quarterback leagues where obviously it's tougher to fill out the spot with the buys kicking in. I think Bo Nix can help fantasy owners put up maybe a decent number versus the Raiders. I give up the 13th most fantasy points to quarterbacks on the season. Right now, Nick's available 90% of fantasy leagues and I know the weapons aren't great but going off a matchup and with the buys kicking in he's a sleeper option this week next quarterback Andy Dalton of the Carolina Panthers Andy Dalton two weeks as the starter now for this Panther team and he's really moving the football down the field and making plays available in 85 percent of fantasy leagues so the first two games for Dalton week three of Vegas 319 pass yards three touchdowns and last week versus the Cincinnati Bengals obviously the team who's drafted to 220 passing two touchdowns in an INT so this week a tough matchup no doubt about it at the Chicago Bears a very underrated defense and especially a good defense playing at home so far this season but Dalton he's got some decent weapons Deontay Johnson Xavier Leggett out of the backfield, Chuba Hubbard, he's gone off over the last two weeks with over 100 yards in both games on the ground. So Andy Dalton, there's going to be games where he turns the football over three or four times and then games like we saw in week three. So if you need a quarterback in deeper leagues, I think Dalton as a plug and play sleeper is a decent option this week. And the third and final quarterback I have is a sleeper is Tyler Huntley. Miami Dolphins, Huntley made his debut as a Dolphin last week. And he just didn't look good at all. Him and Tyreek Hill just missed on a big play late in that game. But the thing with Huntley, he's going to give you running ability. And that's exactly last week where he got a majority of his points. Last week versus the Titans, 96 pass yards, 40 rush yards, and a rushing touchdown and a fumble loss. So this week, middle of the pack matchup at the division rival, the New England Patriots, where this Patriot defense the last couple weeks, Jets beat them pretty bad in that one, 24-3. And last week, losing 30 to 13 at the San Francisco 49ers. So Huntley, like I said, didn't look good at all last week, but we've seen flashes from him in the past with the Baltimore Ravens. So if you need a sleeper this week, Huntley's available in 97% of fantasy leagues. That's a few quarterbacks I have as sleepers. Week five of the fantasy football season.